Okay, no, uh, one day could be no good that for John graduate, John graduate, and no, maybe I tell her to look on hold another hobby there. Yeah. Who come message, no, okay, you know, mostly for me, okay, you get our, our hope. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Woo! Okay. <laughs> no, I get long neck is not high, Jana. Okay, to hobby, that was speech, no cake, your high ecom, Lumica, the whole hoi, come the monk the whole way. I need to talk, Salica, your Lumica, the Guhaito, Chicho, the Yellow Monk, Guhaito, Chicho, the Mitchell Salica, yeah. Who highly good, who bought it, who sells it again, need to talk, Salica. No, who y'all want to fall, I get near fall. Who room they make a year who was recently or who you can make cool now. เลยคือว่าตาบ้านนี่ให้กูเอาตัวไหนคูตัวลอยเกี่ยวกับชิโนโกะว่าเหลืองยอดโตเขาลุกคอมพานีย่ออาชีพนี้ชิดเต็มแ
website to like you might know what habits are have you guys heard of the word habits graduate i see some nods in the audience so when i talk about habit no like i am referring to the intersection of beda kong wo mo no kai hein number 1 knowledge number 2 skill and number 3 desire knowledge is the what to do and why skill no ke is the how to do desire is motivation is the want to do something to pa tie ko lu xie sa wo in order to make something become a habit in our lives you have to have all three and as you can see on the poster right here ko mo xiao chu na no na pa tie ko sa ko me remember to look wo hai na no to pa tie when i think back to new from graduate age to ning wo hai ko no ta xin no ko think back to do you remember or darn thing that lo hai li na because it's been too long so i don't want you to forget with him more show to show no you see knowledge skill and desire make things become habit no we more call example tell her high school pay for not to call it yeah no more no it call it is not the same they have their own distinct meaning but if you don't understand all of these meanings and make it a habit then you will not get very far I may be ineffective in my interactions with you because I constantly tell you what I think but I never really listen to you. This this sound like your parents may do to you sometimes. Sometimes they tell you to do something but they never really listen to you deeply. Unless I search out correct principles of human interaction, I may not even know that I need to listen. Even if I know that in order to interact inter- effectively with you I really need to listen I may not have the skills to listen So so go pa so go pa hai te ku yu chu tong mong ka hai la ti ga ku tu chi mo ka skill chu la mong ti ku pan chen mong ka hai ko la lu hai ko lu jie lu yo da chi Even if I do know that in order to interact effectively with you I really need to listen I may not have the skill I may not know how to really listen deeply to another human being but knowing I need to listen and knowing how to listen is not enough unless I want to listen unless go more talk it sa the desire then I cannot make something in my life become a habit so creating a habit requires all three of these dimensions and this is what you will need to be successful in your life in college and career if you're thinking about skipping college and going on to vocational path so the seven habits are not a set of separate or piecemeal psycho formulas in harmony with the natural laws like you like high of growth they provide key steps in the jiu jitsu jiu jitsu move to develop ko itu tenu no personal ta interpersonal effectiveness ya ko mo personal effective jiu jitsu in personal effectiveness then that is not a complete person you see you're only one sided so these three provide us with a progressive maturity continuum from dependent to independent to interdependent no you have the next side of the post that's a no ni pa ho ka si cha pa he ti a dependent dependent we all were dependent one time Maybe you are still dependent right now. We each begin life as even me or you too an infant totally dependent on our mother, our father, other people to take care of us. Lo tu pe, lo ku mo ra pe no, lo ku dai ra pe ho, lo ni xie kan ge ra pe na. We were dependent once. Without this nurturing, we would only live for a few hours. Now is the last a couple of days probably. then gradually over the ensuing months and years we become more and more independent physically mentally emotionally and financially and so eventually we can essentially take care of ourselves as we continue to grow and mature we become increasingly aware that all of nature and human life is interdependent the human culture is very interdependent not independent like you guys high like you can 
and I will tell you why. Dependence, okay, you take care of me, you come through for me. Especially sometimes so that's why they fail in school, that's why they have the more motivation to continue on. But you see, let's be fair and agree that expiration date. Blaming other people comes to being expired. Your, the things that happen in your life expire when the moment that both of your hands touch the steering wheel. That is when you are supposed to be responsible for what you do and what you say. Responsibility lies within you. Independent. Independent, okay, is American favorite word. I am independent. I am very independent. I don't need you because I can do it myself. I am responsible. I am self-reliant. I can choose. Interdependent. Not a lot of people talk about interdependent. I N T E R. Interdependent. We can do it together. We can cooperate. We can combine our talent and abilities to create something greater together. So you talk about high lunacy, talk about Tanto, Yama, Tanaka, dependent, independent, and interdependent. Interdependence is far more mature and it's a far more advanced concept than dependence. Yeah, independence now. Interdependent, where we would rely on one another. When we're, we would sacrifice things together to make something become greater. But independent, not in the interest, all the way back. Not independent, good independent. Make a right I don't need you yeah. more, Dad. But you forget that there is a more higher level who will enter dependence that people do not share with you. Because you have to pay money. If you don't pay money, you will not know what other people have to say. In the Americas, you are privileged to choose what you want to do, but sometimes you take it for granted. And you know it, you take it, and you never pay money to hear what the rich people or what the more advanced people are talking about. And they talk about interdependence. That's why we Next to all of I want to go over habit yeah. number one. Uh. How do I become interdependent then the ball? How do I become interdependent? So hot that you know maybe I am dependent. She's, she's maybe I am she's independent. All the way over there. But how do I get to the interdependent stage? Very analytical. Now go habit number one, a you got to know what dependent. What in the middle? You have to be pro. Active. It's more than just taking the initiative. It means that as a human being, you are responsible for your own life. Our behavior is a function of our decision, not our condition. What happens to you is mostly based on your decision, not on the condition. What happens to you is something that you decided to do. That make you not. 
So we have the initiative and the responsibility to make things happen. Reactive people, man. So called the opposite of proactive, okay? You're reactive. Proactive, okay? You're responsible for your own actions. No. Reactive, what is that? Reactive people are often affected by both of physical environment. If the weather is good, they feel good. If their friends are cheerful when they see each other, then they are cheerful. But when the weather is bad, they feel bad. When you talk about them when they're back, they get really, really upset. That is called reactive, not proactive. Proactive, okay. You decide what people can do to yeah, you. Behind the lake. They can Come do on, all they the want behind lake. their back, but they cannot hurt you unless they have your consent. Yeah. This is important for you too, if you're thinking about going to high school or college. Because when you go there, you'll find out that some people are your friends and some people are not your friends and they are called weather friends. They will hang with you when the weather is nice and sunny. And when it is raining, they will leave. Many people wait for something to happen or someone to take care of them. But people who end up with good jobs and are proactive ones are the solution to the problem, not the problem themselves. Proactive people see the initiative to do whatever is necessary, consistent with correct principles, of course, you do whatever that is necessary, but you have to do the right thing to get the job done. I can stand here all day and preach to you about the benefits of college and career, but it is really up to you who will need to make that final decision or that act on how you will respond. So, so come on, the responsible, 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 able, Responsible, how will you respond to something that happens to you? Habit number two, I talk about beginning with the end in mind. I know I'm going to stand up here and talk the whole day until the sun goes down. Begin with the end in mind. Sometimes, we don't even know what we want to do. We just know that we want to go to college and, you know, we'll probably like try some stuff and find out if it's the right thing for us. But you know, you should start thinking that right now. You should know what you want at the end. And then find your path, your intentional path to get what you want. What if I don't know what I want at the end? Maybe it might not sound so good in the Hmong culture, but I'll be very honest with you because I want you to be successful. What if I don't know what my end goal is? Then my only situation that I would say to you is pretend that you are at your own funeral and people are talking about you. What do you want them to remember you as? What do you want them to say to you or about you? If you see yourself in the casket and your friends, your family are there right beside you, what do you want them to say about you? What are your accomplishments that you've done in your lifetime? Who have you touched? Huh? Who have you helped? No. Maybe that will help you the, uh, prep for what you want at the car? end. Because well, beginning with the end in mind is crucial. Cool. Every day you do it. You want to go buy a pair of shoes or like a prom? You don't go to Target or maybe you might, but you don't go to Home Depot. Because you're not going to find the shoe that you want there. So you begin with the end in mind so you can create the intentional path to get there. Habit number three is not so hard. It is to put things first, first. In college, you have a lot of flexibility. In high school, you might as well. You have to decide what is best for you and what is not best and be able to say no. Bottom line, you have to know yourself and your limits and know what your priorities are. Habit number four. Once you're able to do all three habits, then you move yourself to becoming independent. But then how do I come from independent to interdependent? Well, number one, you say, I have to think win-win. Win-win. Yeah, through yeah, yeah, win-win situation. Am I the type of person that I want to lose and let somebody else win? Or do I want I to win 
but somebody else to lose? Or do I want to say, you know what, let's work together so I can have a win and you can have a win too. And people will remember how you make them feel. They may not remember how you, what you said to them, but believe me, if you win and they lose, they will always remember what you did to them. Habit five, seek first to understand and then money be understood. Take for example, optometrist clinic. Oh, you're looking for a pair of glasses? And you say, yeah, you know, uh, my eyesight is not too well. I'm looking for a pair of glasses. And I say, oh, well, you know what? 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 And I put it on you. Do you think you will see the same way that I see through my own glasses? The answer is no. 99.9% .9 no, you will not see if you wear my glasses. So I have to first understand what your prescription is, and then Kumala issue how prescription does. So when you go to college, you're not going to say, hey, you guys have to understand me first. No, it is you. You have to read. You have to understand before you are understood. Number six, synergy. Synergy sound very much like energy. And I'm almost done here, I promise. Would you want me to talk to you or your mom? Your mom, probably not. Okay, <laughs> okay synergy, sound the same like energy. Okay, but synergy, what is synergy? If you don't know synergy, do we show me? Synergy is very important and it means that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Value differences. As it is But that's okay. You have to value differences and you will see lots of differences in your life. I guarantee that. Respect them, build on the strengths that you have, and compensate for other people's weaknesses. You don't need to point out other people's weaknesses, do you? Compensate for those weaknesses that you find. Have authentic conversation with people. Don't be scared to talk to people. They're just people like you. Don't live your life following a script. And then habit seven is to sharpen the saw. Sharpen the saw, title it down. Sharpen the saw, title it down. To keep your health, to keep your mentality, you have to know how to exercise, nutrition, you have to be able to manage your stress. You have to read. You have to read. You reading. to read. You have to read. Yes, probably, but not to a very deep level. Because most, mostly when you see things on TV, you think it's very deep. But when you open up the novel or the letter, it goes even deeper. So in the good old days, let's pretend that you were in Thailand or Laos, graduates. Do you think people had the opportunity to go to school, to work in great positions, to become something better? The answer is probably no. Since you are given that privilege in the United States, let me ask you how much are you, graduates of 2013, likely to touch other people's lives? You have the intelligence. You have the intelligence, the intelligence, your capacity for hard work. You have to be a hard worker to graduate. At least some sort of a hard working piece in there. The education you have earned and received, Sancho Kekono, give you very unique status. You are a little bit different from the other people who have not gone through education, you see. And with unique status, you know that you also have unique responsibilities. Even your nationality sets you apart. Right now you are still very young and so you think that, oh, you know, I'm Asian. 
he's, you know, Mikado, Mikado, we're all the same. But we'll have to take a split one gel dollar with that, knowing it's not that way. Your nationality sets you apart from other people. And when you grow up or when you're 18 or ready right now, you know that you also have that power to vote, to live the way that you want to live, to protest what you want to protest. And you have the government, you have that pressure that you can put on them. You can impact so much people, so many people with your education. And if you choose to use your status and your influence to raise your voice on behalf of those who have no voice, if you choose to identify not only with the powerful, but with the powerless, if you retain the ability to imagine yourself into the lives of those who do not have your advantages, then it will not only be proud families who will celebrate your existence, but thousands and millions of people whose reality you have helped change. So with that being said, I wish you all very good lives. And if you ever need anything, if you need somebody to tell you right smack what you need to know, then you always can come to me. I can tell you what you need to know to support you. All I want is the best for you. So thank you very much. <laughs>